We spend our whole lives as artists trying to undo a lot of the constructs and structures that we'd learned throughout our life to be a lot more authentic in our work and emotional. We saw that those are the qualities that came very easily to the ECF artists. What, to introduce you to some of my friends? Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is Alex. He, he, he worked at the regional center. He's also a friend of mine. And then there's a, a, a Seuss. That's this guy right here, another one of my friends. The Exceptional Children's Foundation has been around since the late 40s to provide services for persons with developmental disabilities from infants all the way to seniors. The DAC Gallery has been sort of the area for all the artwork that's created in the studios. There is a lot of prolific artists here who have such a genuine, unique perspective. The teachers and myself are here simply to help guide them with techniques and give them a little bit of inspiration, but mostly it's them. Visual art is a language, and it's a language uh, the ECF artists understand, and it's easier for them to navigate. They're merely trying to connect with something that is primal and human in themselves. Larry Pearsall has been in the program for several years, and he is, he is an artist who makes work every single day, and um, there's such an elaborate universe. So he bought more cats from another city, this one, and this one came along with the group. And his name is Afro Cat. We are structured like any other art studio. We feel that the final product is important to people. We feel that there's a certain closure when the artists see their work in a gallery space. When they get money for their work, it's a revelation. When the artists here sell work, it's, it's a huge deal for them. It's a huge deal. And it's not just about the money, it's about, it's a symbol that they are independent. To have people from all over the world who have access to Amazon look at the artwork that's being created in the program is really a tremendous um, opportunity for all the artists. I think Amazon does a good job with just the way it presents it to not be judged by their disability, to be identified merely by the work that they do. I think there's something empowering for them. It's empowering for us as well as instructors to see it. It's just a great motivation for them to continue making artwork and to know that there are people who are appreciating their work. As an artist, it, it, is, it is a nice sort of validation. to come to work and do your artwork for a living and to have others really, you know, help promote it and put it out there. I mean, this is a dream of any artist. <laughs>